African leaders have declared 2014 as a year of agriculture and food security with calls on various countries to inject over 15 percent of their national budget into the agri sector. The continent has targeted to be entirely food sufficient by 2063. Edward Kwabi has more. The African Union has declared this year as agriculture and food security year. Of course, the vision of African leaders is to transform the agricultural sector and make it food secured in the next 10 years. Ghana's vice president was part of the deal. Ten years ago, the African Union adopted the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program aimed at ensuring member countries inject more revenue into the agri sector to make the continent food sufficient. Ten years on, the results are telling. I have already started developing an agricultural revival program for, 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 for Ghana. We want to chart new areas where we can focus on. We have a model for graduate youth in agriculture program. We've developed the module. We've put the necessary infrastructure in place. Uh, we are only waiting for research to develop the protocols and then we will swing into action later by June. However, much is expected to be done as the rest of the year is to be focused on improving productivity to culminate in not less than a 6% growth. Under its new vision 2063, Africa is targeting to be food sufficient and an export of value-added products to position the continent amongst global giants. Africa has indeed transformed itself from an exporter of raw materials with a declining manufacturing sector in 2013 to become a major food exporter, a global manufacturing hub, a knowledge center, beneficiating our natural resources and agricultural products as drivers to industrialization. Pan-African companies, from mining to finance, food and beverages, hospitality and tourism, pharmaceuticals, fishing, fisheries, ICT, are driving integration and are amongst the global leaders in their sectors. A delegation from Ghana led by Vice President Kwesemi Saatha, including Foreign Minister Hannah Tete, participated in the conference. Also present at the event was former President of Ghana and AU advisor on climate change, John Ejekumkufo. Edward Kwabi, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Meanwhile, Vice President Kwesi Misa Arthur has described the AU summit as successful and beneficial to Ghana's economic prospects. Addressing journalists after the session in Addis Ababa, he said Ghana had brokered several deals to accelerate transnational development. Another report by Edward Kwabi. Aside the main opening session, Ghana's Vice President participated in several bilateral meetings with other countries for mutual benefits. The meetings are always useful. You get to know a bit more of um, developments that you don't read in the press. You also get to get a chance to explain to them developments that are taking place in our country which they are not um, aware of. So it's, it's a good, it's a good uh, in terms of the interchange. I also met with former President Kufo who briefed me on the work that he has done in the, in the climate change and um, the efforts that have been made so that the Ghanaian population also understand the issues that are, that are coming up. So I, I expect that he will be finding an opportunity very soon to brief President Mahama of the work that he has done and how they propose to go on. As an emerging economy, Vice President of Ghana, Kwesi Emisa Arthur, believes the only way forward is through South-South collaboration. I've been in, in Cote d'Ivoire, ICI, invest in Cote d'Ivoire 2014 and they're looking in in each of these instances they're looking at ways in through the regional integration route will be able to foreign investors to come in, into the country because if the market is large then it is they are able then to produce for that market so the enlargement of the ECOWAS market creates new possibilities for foreign investors because the size of plant has to be big enough for West Africa Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Hannah Tete, elaborated on key agreements signed by the government of Ghana. We agreed that we would uh, further cooperate, share experiences, especially with regard to the technical support staff for the um, development and uh, support of hydro projects. 
Another area where we thought that there would be the opportunity for collaboration was really with transportation and uh, especially to see how we could open up um, the skies between Ghana and Ethiopia and the rest of Africa.